Guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EIK WM France deck G456 game with Maruska, Sansual, and Wolfie. So a lot of very long time members of the site. Let's look at some of these cards. Um, so this Farmer. Score at least three points in four scoring categories. You immediately receive a family growth without room action. That's pretty interesting, especially because we have cards like Z Landscape Gardener here, which can definitely help you hit the uh, crops bonus. Uh, naturalist, I don't think I will take Naturalist here. Seed Seller is fine, but I'm not taking it first. Um, whenever you plow at least one field, run food for each stable on your farm. So this is kind of interesting because it rewards you for fence doing some stables early. Zealous Farmer can reward you for doing stables. Hmm, we've also got Champion Breeder, which I think is quite good. I think the pick for me though is Barrel Maker. I think this Barrel Maker card just looks so good. A wood and two food every harvest? That's That's amazing. That's so good. This is like a car that you could build your whole stage one around. Just, you know, take food, th take wood three times. Don't build the first room or don't build the first room in round four. I should say you can still sometimes build the first room in round five. Yeah, I think we're taking this guy. All right. Uh, capitalist seems pretty great. With Barrel Maker, four wood occupation is basically exactly what I need. Uh, I'm not sure what I will declare for the scoring category, but seems good. Yeah, capitalist definitely. Ooh, visiting quarryman. I haven't seen that card in a while, and I think it's pretty good. Uh, Dusk Worker is really good. Um, Building Planner is pretty good. Trailblazer, Zipper Maker. There's like five cards I'd like to take here. Um, I don't know that yet that I'll have a bunch of ways to sew, so I won't take Trailblazer. So I'm looking at the remainder. Zipper Maker is really good with Visiting Quarrymen. And you know what? I think Visiting Quarrymen is the first pick because if Zipper Maker comes back, awesome. Visiting Quarrymen plus Zipper Maker seems great. And then also getting any of these four back, I would be really happy. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> There have been some really good cards in this draft. Oh, man. Well, Pastor is okay. I mean, Pastor with Barrel Maker is kind of a thing because you don't really want to spend your wood super early. Gardening Enthusiast, if the Trailblazer comes back, that card seems like it'd be pretty good. Uh, Trinket Collect Gardening Enthusiast plus the um, Landscape Gardener is a great combo. Trinket Collector... Um, is quite good farmer is good harvest i think probably not farmer for me this game but certainly it seems like there's going to be an okay stone house strategy with master fencer farmer maybe pastor i could think about mendicant but i think trinket collector or guarding enthusiast are a lot more high impact and i'd rather get one of those um oh man trinket collector seems pretty good Especially if I'm going to kind of do a Nur FG game, build a couple wood rooms, uh, play a bunch of minor improvements around the family growth queue. I like Gardening Enthusiast, but I think I'm going to take Trinket Collector here. All those really powerful minor improvements that don't have a point on them, oof. They get even better when you have Trinket Collector in hand. But yeah, this is uh, quite the start so far, I have to say.
Hey, HIKLJ. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, just having a little bit of breakfast myself, so. Uh, any plans yet with Capitalist? No. I think my miners are probably going to decide that. If I get a miner like Barn, then, you know, maybe I'm going for Fence Stables. If I get a miner like... What else? If I get a miner like, um, maybe Clay Supports... Or if I get a miner like, what are some of the other really high impact miners that could swing my game? If I get something like quarry, well then I'm going to kind of go all in on getting lots of major improvements. Whoa, this is interesting. I didn't expect Zealous Farmer to come back. I thought someone would speculate on it. There's also Farm Overseer. Honestly, Barrel Maker plus Capitalist seems like I should be able to take advantage of the Farm Overseer for some really nice food. Uh, I could also take Wood Distributor. So for me, there's like four cards. I think Wood Distributor is probably the weakest, but I could take any of these three. Seed Seller plus Visiting Quarrymen uh, is a pretty nice way to build Clay Oven, the Clay Oven early. So that's a decent feeding engine. Zealous Farmer. Uh, with all the wood I'm getting... I think I might build a bunch of rooms. So I think I probably won't take Zealous Farmer here. So I think I'm thinking Farm Overseer or Seed Seller. Hmm. I'm not 100% on building stables yet. Oh man, what am I supposed to take here? If I get Trailblazer back and I don't take... Uh, actually, Trailblazer would like Farm Overseer too, just as much. It, it would not just like Seed Seller. It would really like a Farm Overseer pick. If I get Trailblazer back. What else was in that pack? There was the building guy, which helps me build stables. Okay. There was the... There's one other card that I can't think of. There was Trailblazer. There was... I took Visiting Quarryman. There was a card that worked with Visiting Quarryman pretty well. I can't think of it off the top of my tongue. Uh, this pile is like the first that I'd not re I've seen it and thought I don't really need any of these. Oh, Zipper Maker. Zipper Maker. Yeah, Zipper Maker would be great. To come back to. So honestly, I'm pretty happy whatever I see with my la uh, last pick. Don't think I'll be too disappointed. Um, I could take Brushmaker. Probably though, Brushmaker is very unlikely to get played. Because it's very unlikely you have enough boar ever that you're going to start eating them. Ham Glazer is quite weak. Resource Lender is okay. Um, I don't think I want to play it early though. I'd rather accumulate wood. So I think the pick is Stonebreaker here. Stonebreaker is kind of like a get out of jail free card a little bit. It's a card where you don't plan on playing it, but when you do, it it's really great. And uh, Trailblazer coming back is awesome. Because Farm Overseer is going to actually give me food when I Trailblaze. Because I'll build at least, say, two stables. Yeah, this is going to be pretty nice. Oh, man. Well, Baby Sling, Swan Lake, Sack Cart, all of those three are excellent. Um, those are the three I'm looking at. I'm not looking at anything else. There's some fine cards here, but it's one of these three. So Swan Lake is two free points. I think with Trinket Collector, the pick is probably... Is it Baby Sling? Hmm. I love Farm Overseer, although it probably isn't great with Barrel Maker. Oh, because it encourages me to spend my wood. Yeah, on, on stables. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, so Sack Cart will go pretty nicely with my Trailblazer play. But I think Farm Overseer Trailblazer will be coming fairly late. 
think there's a pretty high likelihood that I family growth early and often. So I think I'm going with Baby Sling here. Baby Sling is just such a fantastic card. Uh, getting you potentially three actions for the cost of one read or one sheet. I like Swan Lake, I like Sack Cart, but with Trinket Collector, I'm taking Sack Cart or Baby Sling, and between the two, it's Baby Sling. So here's Whistle. Whistle uh, works pretty nicely to get the sheep for Baby Sling. It works with the Farm Overseer. I do want to build stables. Underground Shed is kind of funny. So spend two wood, three stone. So three, basically it's kind of converting three stone for six wood. Probably not, but it's kind of funny. Whistle looks good here. Yeah, Whistle looks really good. Underground Shed might come back anyways. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I'm still not sure what I'm going to use uh, Capitalist for. At this point, probably Fenced Stables. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Ox Team is not bad. It's a little redundant with Trailblazer, so I don't think I will take it. Plowman's Lunch is awesome. Plowman's Lunch is really, really good. Um, thing is, you kind of need a, a feeding engine, or like a grain or vegetable engine, which I haven't seen yet. And it kind of overlaps with Trailblazer. Uh, amusement Park is good. I think probably Gold Medal is the pick. I could also take Machete. I think these are all Plow cards, which I don't really need. Chimney, I don't think I need. Amusement Park, I don't think I need. I think, again, I'm looking at a Trinket Collector improvement. So it's Gold Medal or Machete. Gold Medal plus Capital is kind of funny. Basically guarantees that everyone will max whatever you name. Machete is a non-bow with Trailblazer, right? Yeah, uh, it is if you only have... Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. So I think I probably will take Gold Medal. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I can I will name probably Fence Stables, I think is the play. Hmm. Uh, I think Hammock works quite well with Whistle, and I think I'm probably already planning to do a four-room house. So Hammock is interesting. Wood Strongbox, I think it's unlikely I get to the fifth room. It's just going to be a lot of read. It's, it's an option, though. And this is certainly a reason to do so. This would be a two-point miner, an extra point with Trinket Collector. Uh, food Bank... So I could food bank and then instead of um, naming stables, name pastures or something. We also have dictionary. Use action, occupation space, even if it's occupied. Now that is very interesting. That is extremely interesting because it's a trinket miner. Hmm... Hmm. What occupations do I want to play in stage one? Visiting Quarrymen. 
Oh, bonus points. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about the bonus point clause. So wooden, wooden strong box doesn't work with Trinket Collector. Okay, my mistake. Thank you. Um, oh, so gold medal doesn't work with Trinket Collector either. I forgot. It's not just printed points. It's the bonus. The bonus points matter as well. Um, I think we probably take Hammock. I think with Hammock, we have a really good reason to do a four-room house. We get the sheep fairly easily with Whistle. With Baby Sling, we want a family growth as many times as we can. And <laughs> sometimes we just get rewarded, guys. Sack Cart. It's Sack Cart, and it's not really close. This is just the perfect card for us here. We could build the Clay Oven, or we just sew it all with Trailblazer. Um... I think we're not taking a, a straw thatched hut. Um, probably I just take underground shed here, just as like a fallback strategy. Yeah, it's not great, but it's okay. Plowman's lunch came all the way back. This card is really good. Um, oven or cooking hearth. Uh, I. Am I likely to reno early? I probably not. Probably not. Probably I'm gonna focus on wood rooms, so we'll take Plowman's lunch here. This card is really good. Even if I it's just a vegetable for a point, that's acceptable. And I, maybe I get like one bake out of it total. Uh, if I play Chimney Collector, yeah, the thing is, how often am I going to want to play Chimney after renovating to a clay house? Like, probably I'm going to want to play Chimney after I've gotten all five of my family growths done, which means I'm going to play it on Start Player or Major Minor. If I'm playing it on Major Minor, I'm not building a major improvement. I think it's probably not that I want. Not what I want. So we start first, which is a fantastic seat to start in. Um, we do like playing occupations early, but we also like Reedstone food in this game. So Reedstone food looks good. Take Reedstone food when you can. The, the free occupation spot should come around at some point. Like, if Visiting Quarrymen doesn't come out early, that's fine. If I only play two Ox in Stage 1, that's no problem. Capitalist plus Barrel Maker, that's no problem. Stone Sculptor here for Maruska. Good card. Oh no, that was Sandswall. Maruska took three wood. Ooh, interesting. Three wood start for Maruska. Wolfie plays Synergizer. That card is extremely strong. Um, I could go for the two clay because of the sheep's available. However, we know that there's bonfire out there. And I have a feeling there's someone doing an early... I think we just stick to the plan. Set up the barrel maker rather than going for the sheep potentially. Because if we went for the sheep and lost them, that would be really bad. Lucky enough to go first in all four of my Meeple League games this season. I took Reedstone food in all four. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, it's a good action, that's for sure. Alright, Maruska playing Start Player Mountain Cave. So Maruska either wants to read or Reedstone food. Not sure which, to be honest. Might Maruska might have a stone rent an early reno, reno strategy. Because Master Fencer, the guy that gives family growth even without farmer, uh, pastor, there were there were reasons to go for an early Reno strategy in this game for sure, for sure. To read, huh? Maybe just really wants to knock out the first room.
I probably three wood here. Yeah, because three wood and then capitalist, my barrel maker is ready to go. I would like Reedstone Food twice more, or two read round four would also be good. It gets me the extra read for Baby Sling. Hmm. Oh, sh sweet. Sweet. All right, well, free occupation in that case. So we'll name uh, Fence Stables. And then second action. I could start player gold medal. Oh, there's no real rush. Muska really wants that room. So maybe Muska first picked um, Rent Keeper, potentially. Since I'll play his Occupation House Goat. Man, if Expensive Ock comes back, this will be about as good of a round as I could hope for. Is this Sanswell's favorite card? It is a good one. That's for sure. Man, we got expensive lock back. This is awesome. Awesome. Uh, so I don't have to play Barrel Maker here. I could play Visiting Quarrymen, get it out of the way. But I think we're probably showing... We're fine showing our, rent, our Barrel Maker here. Ruska has Rent Keeper. Yeah, I, I, that, that seems to make sense to me. Going for a room round three. That was the most aggressive two clay grab I've ever seen. <laughs> Wolfie's got some... There must be some reason. Maybe reading that Sanswall will not want to first action build. And so Wolfie can build the fireplace here. Because yeah, Sanswall really wants stone for stone sculptor. We'll take four wood, I assume. Playing simple fireplace. Hmm. That one is interesting to me because the simple fireplace doesn't eat sheep as well. Seems like an odd move. Unless he really wants a cooking hearth this early, but... Sheep first round is strong for food. The synergizer didn't go for straw thatched hut. Yeah, that's true. Because, yeah, we did pass Straw Thatched Hut around really late. So there's Rent Keeper. You were right. Looks good for Maruska. Very nice. Yep. I'm going to build four stables now. Wolfie going for Renaissance, man. Well, that would certainly explain Simple Fireplace ahead of one... Ahead of the two clay fireplace. So you think he's eyeing up a three wood into a reedstone food action, and then he would have every good for Renaissance, man? Potential ten-point Renaissance, man? Well, no, he'd have to get... Oh, if he reads stone food first move, he could take sheep with his second move. Take four, or take four food, or whatever. Maybe. He, he, you know what, if he takes wood, and then reads stone food, and then takes the sheep, he's good. He would have enough. He has time to get it off. 
Oh, but then he can't play Renaissance Man. Okay, then maybe he plays it in round 5 for 9 points. That still seems pretty good. Yeah, you're right. And it seems like that's not the point anyways, because he's plowing. Uh, I don't think we ever take wood here. Or at least not the potential 6 wood action. Uh, we do want to pick up Reed. So I could take the wood just because then I'm probably getting myself a 2 Reed move. I have a feeling though, 2 Reed might come all the way back. So I think what I do here is I take Fishing. And then I think I probably get four wood and two reed next round. I think that seems to make sense. And if Wolfie doesn't pass six wood, then I get six wood and two reed, which would be even better. And the food should be helpful as well. Wolfie well, does go for the six wood. All right. Makes his feeding a little awkward here. I guess maybe he's thinking he'll eat a vegetable and that's fine. Simple fire. He can sow because he really wants to sow here. Yeah, I'm not sure, honestly. Looks like Maruska is setting up to build the well with uh, taking a stone from Rent Keeper and then read stone food here. Yeah, I mean, Synergizer is good enough on its own that you don't really need. I don't really think you need that any of those other cards. Since so I'm good on food for three harvests. <laughs> Because he has 13 plus 3 from House Goat plus 3 from Stone Sculptor. So he's at 19 food already. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Oh, I didn't even notice uh, Sanswell built a fireplace late last round. Did not even notice that. Ooh, Wolfie decides not to sow. I was so sure that Wolfie was going to sow there. Um, well, there's going to be a really good clay action next round, so I think I'm going to set myself up to take it. So I could take clay here, or I could play Visiting Quarryman, and then I'm likely to get an extra clay next round. FF wood, feed four. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised by Wolfie taking two read there. That's really surprising to me. Maybe recognizing that if he does it, then it's going to be a while before I can grow, which is correct. And then, or before I can build. Uh, all I need though is a Reedstone food action. Sandswall is a ways away, that's for sure. Sandswall needs to start picking up wood. Probably two wood actions. Whereas I'm one Reedstone food action away from being able to build. But if failure growth comes in round five, Wolfie has definitely secured himself the second growth with that action. So, I don't know. I really, for me, I really like getting the grain sown. Yeah, and he ate the one vegetable. I Yeah, I know. Yeah, it does seem really expensive. A really expensive two-weed grab for Wolfie. Yeah. Personally, that's what I would have done. Sow the two grain and sow the vegetable. So then even if you eat one vegetable, you still have another potentially coming in. That could be another two food or it could be, you know, a, uh, a, it could get re-sown or whatever. All right, let's see what it is. Let's go, let's go. There we go. 
It's family growth. Well, it seems like uh, this paid off for Wolfie. Uh, I would like to take five stone, five clay, but getting reedstone food is very important because if I don't get reedstone food here, then how can I grow? Reedstone food might come back. Hmm. Will Sanswall take it? Maybe. Will Wolfie take it? Maybe. I kind of think Sanswall will like the four wood action. I think we're going to be a little greedy here. We're going to go ahead and use a guest token to take five clay. It's a little greedy, but uh, see if we can make it work. We, we, well, we're happy taking three, four wood, three wood, if those actions are what come back. I think it's probably unlikely that it is, but. Oh, this is fun. This is very fun. Wow. This is a round five ruins. Awesome. What's the point of taking clay here? Uh, because five clay is a very good, efficient clay action. And I think I'm very likely not giving up much. I think I'm pretty likely to get the action I want back anyways, which is Reedstone food. Um, yeah, this is a very early ruin. So Maruska got an extra stone with Rent Keeper and then converted, converted a wood to stone with Mountain Cave. So that's fun. Ruins is actually a net positive stone um, thing. So... Yeah, I think Wolfie eating the vegetable told us that Renaissance Man was not a thing. So yeah, Reedstone food came back, which is what I wanted anyways. So then if I get three wood, I'm quite happy. Uh, if I don't get three wood, I can think about doing something like start player. I have time to react to what Sandswell does. So that's nice. Am I building stables? Uh, probably not with this build a room action because I don't want to danger my barrel maker. I could build one stable. I think I should probably build one stable for whistle. I think that's that's probably a good point that I should build one stable for whistle. Because I know with a uh, hammock, I pr I want to go back to the build a room space so. I think I don't need to build the stables here. I can wait a bit longer to see what my wood situation is like and get more procs of barrel maker. Sansual plays Occupation Botanist. What that means is Sansual is not able to build a room. So I'm under no pressure to first action build a room next round. So that means I can do whatever I want here. Um, I think getting some kind of food seems like a good plan. I could build the pottery here. I kind of like that idea because I have the visiting quarryman to get another efficient clay grab at any time. So I think I like building the pottery here. It's not the most consistent food income, but like I could build a cooking hearth and a cooking hearth would let me eat the whistle sheep that's coming in, but I kind of have uses for that sheep already with hammock. Like if I build one stable, I can get to two sheep. Or I guess I shouldn't build one stable, eh? I should build two stables, probably. Yeah, I think I like building pottery here. And that'll help for the next couple harvests quite a bit. Because now I'm getting two food, two food from clay, two food from barrel maker. So I only need an extra one or two food per harvest. 
which reedstone food is quite nice so Wolfie building a cooking hearth here with his first move. That's kind of crazy. Um, hmm. Could read stone food here or I could three wood. Probably I should three wood. I would like to play baby sling. Baby sling requires getting a... Baby sling requires getting a sheep or a reed, so that's why I like reedstone food. Sanswell just took start player acreage. Hmm. Hmm, what's going on here? What does Sinswall have? Sinswall is, is Sinswall going to second action grab two wood? I could not build here. If I don't build, Sanswell gets to grow in round seven. And the, because if I build here, then I don't get to play baby sling before I family growth. So that's the point against it. The point in favor is that I would get to round seven, play whistle, and then I would start getting the sheep. Maruska does want to build again. Yeah, you're right. So Maruska would take two wood and build if given the option. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just have to build here. Yeah. So we'll build uh, two stables because then I can collect sheep twice and the second one can help breed. So, and I'm still way over the uh, barrel. I get to play whistle here if I build. Yep. And that that seems good. Uh yeah, I don't think I need to build four stables here. I don't think it's worth risking whatever action I might get or not get. Yeah, if I could still get two actions out of Baby Sling for my next two family gross, then that, that'll be fine. That'll still be worth quite a bit. The fact that it hasn't paid off yet is unfortunate, but I've got a pretty good setup. I have to say I'm pretty happy with the way this game is going. Ooh, Maruska doesn't need to take two wood. Got wood distributor. Hmm. Oh, fun. Fun! So Sansol was threatening a two wood grab, but actually had Pastor, which is much better than a two wood grab. So I'm able to grow my family as long as I don't spend any food. So yeah, playing Whistle on Family Growth seems good. And then I will play Hammock, and then I will play Sack Cart and Baby Sling. Baby Sling probably, then Hammock and Sack Cart. Yeah, Baby Sling before my fourth growth, Hammock on my fourth growth, and then San Sack Cart on my fifth growth. So ideally I'm getting my fifth Family Growth in round 10 so that I can get the green in round 11 and 14. Wood Distributor is not fun. That card is really annoying. 
But uh, if we get three read one wood, that's an absolutely fantastic action. Three read one one wood might be good enough to not grow here and to play start player baby sling for round eight family growth. Hmm, I could do that. Be kind of crazy. I would lose an action here from not growing earlier, but I would gain it back. And there we go. Wolfie took it. So not an option anyways. All right. So I have two dead cards in my hand now. Gold Metal and Underground Shed are both dead. Plowman's Lunch is kind of functionally dead. So I'm not going to start player that many times for the rest of the game. Probably only once with Baby Sling. Um, it's unlikely that I want to play Plowman's Lunch. So that's okay, honestly. Trailblazer doesn't really want to start player that often. Trailblazer wants to hit the So Bake action a lot. Uh, I'm going to want to get good wood grabs, but other than that, I think I'm okay with uh, not taking start player. Like I don't, I won't want family growth even without room. Plowso will be good. It'll be good, but it won't be like amazing. Why'd I build my room stables like that? Uh, I always build my stables like this because I'm giving myself the option to do a big size six pasture here and then do the two little pastures up top. And then I can do four fields or I can do three fields in a fourth room. I, I always try to do it like this because I think it makes your fencing options better. Since well did a cooking hearth upgrade along with the reno. Man, I got four wood back. <laughs> You're never going to hear me complain about taking four wood. Also, wood distributor for my uh, visiting quarrymen seems really good because I'd be really happy to take this action next round, especially if he distributes onto it again. Oh, whoops, I don't have to feed six, only five. Whoops. And I get a sheep for my whistle, which goes into the house. Yeah, I could have built my room up here. I don't think there's too much of a difference. I don't have any cards that care about that. And sometimes your farm layout is important. I actually, one of my last couple games, my the way I laid out my farm was actually really important, but oh well. Yeah, I did leave myself room for a sixth room, which I ended up building. Which was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he's going to distribute. Oh man, this three clay, two wood action is amazing for me. Especially because I don't have to use a full action to get it. Here, hammock or fourth room for next family growth. I think probably what I want to have happen is I want to collect the next sheep for Whistle. Uh, do I? I kind of want, like what I'm thinking is I could let them breed. I can't play the, f I can't play Hammock. What I'm thinking about though is, do I want to wait until round 10 to play Hammock? Because if I wait until round 10, then I can let the sheep breed. So I could let the sheep breed and then play baby sling and then play hammock. Then I go back to one sheep. Then in the next harvest, I get another two sheep again. Which I think would be pretty, that would be pretty strong. Like get two sheep in round nine from my whistle. 
and it's one sheep plus the bread sheep, use both of those sheep for start player baby sling and then family growth hammock round 11 and then uh family growth sack cart round 12. Mm, it yeah because i think maruska will probably build again i could just take sheep yeah you're right i could just take sheep but uh like Mar maruska wants to build again right so that means the earliest I'm getting on the family growth space is round 10 already. So if I'm not getting on it until round 10, then I'm not playing sack cart in all likelihood because I want to play hammock on family growth. Reedstone food here looks good. Both occupation actions are gone. I guess I didn't highlight any of the cards played this round. Sorry, I should be doing that. So here's Rock Pyramid. Um, who played that? Sanswal? I don't think Sanswal will build a room, but it's possible. Might might be planning to. Might just be a free improvement. Then Cattle Rancher here for Wolfie. Bit of an extra reason to go on the day labor space. And Wolfie also played Naturalist. Oh yeah, this card. This is the card that rewards you for plowing like up to eight family, uh, eight fields. Yeah, I guess I'd like some passing miners. That would be nice. At the moment, Trinket is Trinket Collector is looking like it's probably going to be a three-point card, which a uh, three-point card is totally acceptable to play. Um, so I definitely want to start player here because I want to get this two read one wood action next round. So I will start player baby sling here. I think. Yeah, it means that I breed my sheep later, but. I really want this, uh, I want access to this, uh, this action. This action is going to be really good for me. So this means I'm not going to be able to breed my sheep for a little bit because I probably will play hammock before I get them bred again, which uh, is a little sad, but I mean, if I'm gaining actions, then it's not going to matter too much because I can easily, if, if I'm gaining actions, I can easily afford a two sheep action later. Yeah, Maruska builds and then Wolfie day labors. Why not play sack cart for one more grain? Uh, because sack cart, I'm running out of miners to play on family growth. Baby sling is the only miner that I have in my hand that has to come before I get a family growth action. And if it doesn't come before, then I lose out on a full action. And one grain is worse than a full action. So that's why. Uh, what are we doing here? I can even take one grain with this move, and I'm not unhappy with that. However, I think what I'm doing is taking traveling players here for four food. I think the food will be useful. Oh, my, uh, this guy's done. I should mark that. Ruska does not dist. So I think we take the two read here because it sets us up for building the room. And then we should be able to get build room in round 10, build room into family growth round 10. And that looks good. So building a room in two stables is nine wood. So that takes us down to uh, seven, which is perfect for the barrel maker. Just perfect. However, I would happily take four wood or three wood if those actions come back. Yeah, like I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have to take resources for Trailblazer anyways. So I'm not really too concerned about it. We're just going to read stone food first move. That's kind of unusual. 
Hmm. I think it probably makes sense for Muska to build another room, but I'm not sure where it's going to come from. Maybe a four clay grab here. But I think I take the three wood. If I build here, Muska might let me grow because of baby sling. Uh, yeah, it's possible. I think Maruska is not really that nice though, though, so I think it would have been unlikely, to say the least. Ooh, farmer here. Uh, so this tells me Maruska might have mini pasture or some miner that lets him fence. That's just a guess. Might just be playing it because he has the free action here. Wolfie has three more moves. Wolfie... There's not enough wood on the table anymore for Wolfie to get to the build room space ahead of me. Sandswall, similar issue. Doesn't have... Well, Sandswall doesn't have as many actions, so... Well, if he says, wow, can't even get one of the wood spots. Yeah, I think probably first action plow is not very good by Wolfie. I think Wolfie's made a couple little mistakes like that, which is really going to hurt him long term. Oh, Machete's a great card. Great card. All right. Uh, I don't have to build here. I can build next round. Why didn't you just play, pay a reed instead of a sheep? I could have done that. I guess what I was thinking is I don't want to take reed that many more times this game. So for me, keeping this reed for the clay reno is very useful. That's kind of the way I'm feeling right now. And you know what? I could very easily take two sheep here. Although I can't eat them, so no, I'm not going to do that. What I do is I'll take the clay here, and then I'm ready to, after building my fourth room, I'm all ready to reno and fireplace and then start eating sheep. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing here. Four food clay, FF wood, clay, two, two, plus a sheep. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about getting the sheep breeding, because the other thing is, if I get the sheep to breed, then um, I have to build a cooking implement, or else I can't actually collect a uh, whistle animal in round 11. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too upset about it. And the other thing is, oftentimes, I end up with only one sheep on my farm anyways. So yes, the sheep are good for food, but they're not really that good for points, and often I can't hold all of them. So if I hold like one other type of breeding pair and then I'm just collecting one sheep per harvest, like I think that's not too bad. So I think, I think we're okay. I'm pretty, I'm actually quite happy with how this game is going. Like this build a room and two stables is going to be amazing. Pay too much food here. Clay plus four food. Uh, I need to feed six, right? Cause I have three family members. I think I'm right, Landro. So Machete certainly makes eating the vegetables not as bad earlier because it's going to be still very easy for Wolfie to sow again. And you know what else is great? After building two wood rooms and four stables, I'm still going to have 11 wood. After playing Hammock, I'll still have 9 wood, and I'll get even more wood. Like, I can play Hammock and Sack Cart this round, and still collect for uh, Barrel Maker. Whoa, this seems kind of a little vindictive here for Wolfie. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Because um, they were talking in chat about, oh, I can't even get on this action. Um, I would like to take one of these three animal grabs, but uh, I don't have a cooking implement, 
So what I'll do is I'll build some more stables so I have room to take them with my second action. Two D or sorry D D two B. Not two D, just one D. Oh, I love visiting Quarrymen. It's helped this game so much. Getting that pottery was really nice, and it's gonna let me get a cooking implement. I'm quite happy with this. Yeah, first action rental fireplace is not too common. Because this basically forces Sandswall and Wolfie to take the animals. And if one of them doesn't, I will take the animals very happily. And then I'm going to family growth and uh, play hammock and baby sling. And then round 11. I, and I could go back to the family growth space after playing hammock and get an extra grain. Uh, if I do, though, then I have to pay an extra food for the family member. Uh, it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it to double grow here to get back and play sack cart. Yeah, I think I like that. And then I'm going into round 11 with five family members. I will have barrel maker and the clay available, so I'll be at nine food. So I'll only need to pick up one more food in total, uh, which seems doable. Get some animals now. I would like to, but Sandswall and Wolfie both can eat animals. And I think there's a reasonable chance that one of them takes them. Or that potentially both of them. Not that Sandswall really needs nine food, I guess. Yeah, Sandswall doesn't really need nine food. And Wolfie doesn't really... Well, Wolfie would take three food, sure. But he has a ton of crops. He gets... Or six food. He gets six food from... Or five food just from baking one... Uh, baking two... Uh, six food from baking two get grain, which he can definitely afford to do. I think we're waiting on Sandswall to decide what he wants to do here. If I don't get an animal action, what I'll do is I'll Trailblazer so that I can... Oh, I guess I don't want to play Trailblazer until Farm Overseer is in play. So I'm hoping to play both of those next round. And if I'm hoping to play both of them next round, then that's... That's another three food there. But I will be at five family members, so we'll see. I think this farm overseer plus trailblazer combo is actually going to be worth some nice food at the end here. I guess that's a point in favor of not double family growthing. If I don't double family growth, I can... Not pl I can trail play Trailblazer this round and then Farm Overseer next round. That gets me, that saves me on the expensive space, makes it more likely that I get the cheap space twice. Um, yeah, that seems okay. It saves me like two or three food. So then it's like three food for one grain, and three food for one grain at this point in the game is probably an okay trade. Waiting on Sandswall. Hopefully. Said wow. Sandswall might have been hoping to get a plow action here. So might be annoyed that Wolfie first picked plow. Could also have been hoping to reno this round and might be annoyed that Maruska first action 
Renault. Yeah, these actions are all really bad for uh, for Sanswal. This game has been pretty brutal to him. Because he's trying to play really efficient moves on three family members. And three family members doesn't seem like it's going to be enough this game. Everyone's going to need just a whole ton of actions. Well, the uh, three boar came back. So I am pretty pleased about that. I guess I could take the sheep, but either the sheep or the boar breed, so I don't really care. I think what might have happened is Sanswell needed to get up and walk around because he was thinking about rage quitting. I'm just not going to talk to Wolfie anymore. Wolfie is kind of, yeah, he's a, a player sometimes. Like I think Sanswell might be close to rage quitting, so let's not, let's not push, push it. <laughs> We're happy Sanswell came back and played his move and that we didn't have to abandon the game. Not that we should be happy, like the expectation is that you finish the game, but I mean, I get it. I get it. it. Sometimes games go really badly and it's really frustrating. I, I totally get it. It's not a good reason to, but... So I'm pretty sure Maruska takes three sheep here. I'm not really sure what Maruska's thinking on. Um, where's the cattle... The cattle plow. Who has it? No one has space for animals right now. The next player to make space for animals probably has the cattle plow, but I don't know where that is. I think probably Sanswell wanted to plow and then sow onto his acreage. I'm guessing that that was part of the plan here. Maybe three moves, plow, take stone to get an extra grain, and then sow onto his acreage, I'm guessing. Something along those lines. But the fact that Wolfie first action plowed is pretty irritating. I guess it's a food for a point, right? And it, it is, it's strong, like it really messes with the rest of us. Am I double growing here? I can. I can double grow or I can play two occupations before the next harvest. And I think playing Trailblazer is actually going to be really good here. I could double grow. I could hammock into sack cart or I can play Trailblazer and Farm Overseer to trigger Trailblazer in round 12, 13, 14 and get four food each time. Farmer? Maybe Maruska with Farmer is the one who took the cattle plow. Yeah. 
You want to play Trailblazer here? I would be tempted to play Sidecar instead of Hammock so I can sew next round. Hmm, I didn't think about that. And then what would I do? I would start Player Hammock later. I could do that. Uh, I think though, if I if I I ha I'll have four moves next round, and really they're five moves. Well, four moves plus a family growth action that doesn't cost an action. Yeah, the trailblazer. Well, the trailblazer matters for getting the farm overseer out at the same time. That's my thinking for the food. Wolfie saying, okay, I'm done. Oh, this is why Wolfie is so frustrating to play with. I've had this issue with Wolfie before. Like, he just becomes such a child sometimes. Like, okay, we already have one person who's pissed off in the game. We don't need to have multiple players being silly. And he's already pissed because he can't get any wood. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Please stop talking. Let's play and not talk. This game. Ah, just talking is making it worse and worse and worse. Jeez. Come on, guys. Come on. Ah. Uh. Come on. 
So Wolfie, so what's really happening is Wolfie's pissed because he can't get a wood action. So he's taking it out on Sanswell and saying, Sanswell is directly attacking my game, which I don't really think is the case. I, I haven't seen any moves that indicate that. But Wolfie's pissed because he's not getting any wood. Like, this game is just going really badly for them. We need to stop talking to each other. This is not helping. Alright, Family Growth, we're going to play... I think we play Hammock here. I, I don't think I'm going to go for... Uh, double Family Growth. I think I play my Trailblazer here. Goodness. I wish there was a way. <laughs> uh, game's on pause, yeah, because they, we got two players raging at each other. <laughs> okay, Maruska just fenced. That tells me Maruska has the cattle plow. So Maruska needs to take wood and take two cattle next round. Is my That's my analysis. So Maruska will prioritize two wood very highly here. It's just salt. Yeah. Took four minutes to argue. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. Well, Trailblazer, guys. Trailblazer is a great card for this game. Because we have Wolfie going for valuing the plow space extremely highly. Yes, and Sanswa is correctly pointing out that capitalist fence stables makes wood very precious. He is right about that. He is absolutely right about that. Not to mention wood distributor. Yeah, wood distributor is making it extremely difficult to get wood. I really, I really screwed these guys here. <laughs> I really screwed these guys. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what are we doing with our first move here? Uh, probably playing... I think I'd probably first move play Farm Overseer here. Because it gives me the option of plowing with my second move for four food, which seems quite good. Which doesn't really work with Trailblazer, but if I could then sow a good, then I'd be okay. Don't family growth here. I'm going to family growth. So the thing about um, baby sling is that it doesn't. Uh... Oh, Wolfie just quit.
Oh my god, now I have to- I have to balance Wolfie's emotion. I have to balance Wolfie's emotion because Wolfie is also very upset. I have to say, oh Wolfie, let's be the bigger people. <laughs> oh man, these guys. These guys are too much. TBH. Um, so family growth is safe. So I think we're now at the point where Reno is starting to get contested. So let's go ahead and Reno fireplace here. So this is actually a skill I learned playing Dota is that you have to assume that the people you're playing with, I don't know if any of you guys have ever played a lot of Dota, but it's this 5v5 game where the games last like between usually 25 minutes and 50 minutes and you're doing a 5v5 and it's very snowball based. So it's very common is that people will get tilted and start like playing suboptimally. So you have to develop the skill to like really, um, there's actually this great video that Sir Action Slacks made where it's like you have to assume that your opponents are like one step away from like blowing themselves up. Um, and so you have to treat them as if that's the case. And so you can't ever say anything to them. You can only say positive things, but they have to be like actually positive. They don't have to be like, um... So family growth is still safe, so we'll probably take a vegetable here. I do need a little bit of food, don't I? No, actually I don't. I can eat a boar. Vegetable seems good here. And then I'll family growth play sack cart. And then last action, maybe reedstone food. There's the ox team. We knew that was coming. Yeah, that's pretty good here. Also a good start player. <laughs> uh. So uh, there used to be this player on the site who actually would rage with Wolfie every game. I'm trying to think of... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. I think it was Grummel Bomb or something like that. I don't know, maybe it wasn't Grummel Bomb. I don't want to slander someone. It might not have been Grummel Bomb. There was a player who, who Wolfie and this other guy were known for getting into huge arguments. And it was like, if you joined a game with the two of them, you had to like really expect that the game was not going to continue. <laughs> uh, oh. Grain on round 14. And in general, those players are mostly all gone. So then, like, it's not a problem because Wolfie doesn't, like, start shit on his own. I used to start shit uh, uh, pretty often on the site. So I would get in fights with Wolfie pretty frequently as well. So I eat a clay for five. I get two food from Barrel Maker. And then I eat a boar. So that's nine. So I'm good for food here. Ruska's got land agent. That's pretty good here. Yeah, I passed him land agent, of course. Um, put the G up here. Oh, not sheep. G. Uh, I could take another grain here. Because if I take a grain and then first action get plow, then I could second action sow. Although that does seem a little dangerous because if I plow and don't get sow, then I've really kind of hurt myself. Mm. Could take clay. Does anyone else need clay? No one really needs clay. 
but I probably well I'll have five actions next round so getting clay seems seems doable although you know what Maruska would like to build another room so we'll just take the clay here that's fine five food clay oh feed nine Plus H whistle. Mariska first action took three wood. Crazy. Crazy. Well, I might get plow so, which is crazy. Oh, I should eat uh eat O to plow, sorry. Um, so I eat the O and then I get plus two food. I spend one of them and then I get four food. Food fence or farm. What is it? Farm overseer. Care with fence. Everyone wants to jump on fence. Yeah, that's true. You're right about that. Um... No one really wants to sow, so I think plowing here is correct because I can then take grain and then sow later. And it also gets me four food. I do want wood. Worst case scenario, I'm going to have to fence eight around all four of my stables. That would be pretty bad if, if that's what it comes to. Realistically speaking, no one else is going to be able to fence nicely and build four stables, so I probably can get away with just fencing two stables. But the capitalist does double the value of my fence stables, so we will see. We'll see what happens here. Ah, Swan Lake. Yeah, Maruska's got all these great cards that I passed. <laughs> oh, man. Farmer, land agent. Farmer's okay. Really, it's Ox Team, Swan Lake. Those are the ones I'm really kicking myself. Those cards are so good. But I think Baby baby Sling has been really good to me. Like, I'm at five family members. The only problem is I can't get enough wood. If I had, if I had, a, you know, if I had four actions versus five, it's not going to change how much wood I can get. But it's going to change how many other points I will score. It'll probably change whether I hit Reno or not. It'll probably hit how efficient my feeding is. Sandswell's going to reno collar and chain. Oh, great. Uh, wood card is really good here. Wood card's a fantastic card here. So I'll take a grain to set up my so bake. And then last couple moves, take animals, take reedstone food. Yeah, take animals, take reedstone food. I could play trinket collector at some point, but there's no real rush. Sandswell plays Master Fencer, which, yeah, we knew that was out there. Wolfie fences 12, so I'll be interested to see if Wolfie gets on to stables at all. So taking sheep and taking boar looks good. Although the sheep is only really for food, so probably take... Take, uh, yeah, take one of them and then read stone food as my last two moves, I think. I have plenty of food, actually, and the boar are just going to end up being food. So, maybe taking boar is not that good here. Although, passing it doesn't seem like it can be good either. Well, if he's got 15 grain and nine and six vegetable. That's pretty ridiculous. Seven vegetables starting next round. So we really hope Wolfie doesn't have something like Veggie Lover. Veggie Lover would be great here for Wolfie. 
Ruska takes the two boar, sure. So then Wolfie probably takes the two sheep. So then I'm doing reed stone food and two stone, I think. Take cattle and you got all the animals. Um... I don't know about that. Definitely we're doing reedstone food. What's the other action? I don't know if I want to take one cattle because if I take a cattle, then I'm not likely to be able to breed my sheep. Whereas if I do fence kind of next round, then I could theoretically breed sheep and boar. So I feel like taking the cattle is only one point here and I should be trying for better than one point moves. That's kind of my analysis here. So that's why I think I'm going to take the stone. Because when I plow, it's net plus three food. Yeah, no one's talking anymore, which is good. <laughs> it's honestly, this kind of game, that's what you need. You need no one talking to each other. <laughs> uh, I'll probably plow so. It's two points. And it blocks a really good plow so action for Maruska, who I think is my biggest competition. So Trinket Collector is a three-point action. That seems good. Ruska Fences. Sure. I need wood as well. I do need wood. You're right. Um, probably whoever start players is pretty important here. However, I have access to Reno Fence, so I'm not too worried. Since I, I'm all ready to reno fence. But yes, you're right that I do need I do need to take wood. Like I'll take two wood for sure if I have the opportunity to. Kinda hoping Oh Wolfie's gonna take two wood. Okay. Um so Wolfie's actually bearing down on my capitalist pretty hard. Hmm. Maybe I just plow again. Keep plowing. Plow is two points every time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess plow loses if someone else reno fences. If someone else reno fences with their first move. Four more wood is four points. Yeah. The thing is, the wood is just going too quickly. It's going really quickly. Maruska sewed there. Hmm, I kind of thought Maruska was going to start player. So that's fortunate. I should probably start player nothing here. I guess the other thing I could have done is maybe tried to block Wolfie getting on stables. If I think Wolfie is my biggest opponent now, because of capitalist. Wood instead of plow here. One of my fence actions would be safe. Um, yeah, take one wood. Hmm. Wolfie might take one wood. Thing is, if Wolfie takes one wood, it's pretty difficult for me to compete with that. The other thing is, Wolfie's only on four family members on a wooden house. So even if he gets a nice capitalist, 
I'm still going to have some pretty reasonable points but with my pottery, my trinket collector. Like, I kind of feel like it's not the end of the world if that's what happens. The other thing is I would kind of like to bait these guys into trying to screw me out of Reno. If I can bait them into trying to screw me out of Reno, then that could be pretty good for me. Because I can say, oh, whoops, I actually get to do it anyways. Um, do I need start player here? I don't think I need start player here. I don't really need too much here. I have two actions to respond to what Mariska does, so I think I'm okay playing Trinket Collector here. And that actually might be a sign to uh, to Mariska that I'm planning to start player, or maybe not, I don't know. I don't know. Wood then start player for four wood. Thing is, if I start player, Muska is going to um, distribute, right? There's no reason for him not to. T goes to Sanswal. Ooh, hmm. So Muska could still start player here. If I get three more wood. That's a lot of points. I think we got to start player nothing here. I kind of want to take vegetable to play Plowman's Lunch, but I guess the vegetable is a point on its own, so. Nada. Going to start player nada here. So I'm going to get a sheep, but I can't breed it, unfortunately, because I don't have room for uh, six things which is a problem oh man dusk worker is so good here really wish i had this card this is a fantastic dust worker here um i guess i should let my sheep breed because if I let the sheep breed and then the boar breed, that's a sheep breed twice, boar breed once, that's two points. Whereas letting the boar breed twice is not any more points and the food is irrelevant at this point. Uh, this grain grab is two points if I do so bake, uh, if I get a so action next round. And it's one point if I don't. So, seems okay. And then we will breed our sheep. Maruska does distribute. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, two wood? One wood? Take the clay at the same time? The clay is worth a bunch of points. The clay is worth a bunch of points. Yeah, let's take the clay. The clay is worth two points. So rather than taking two points, I'll take three points. Because the one wood is a point, and then the the clay is... Uh, the, the one wood is probably more than one point. It's probably like a four-point move there. Vegetable not better than grain? Uh, I think they're pretty similar. I think the grain is worth two points if I sow it. The vegetable is maybe only one point if I sow it. Because if I sow two vegetables here and one grain, then that I have a fifth vegetable which is not worth anything. So that's why I did it that way. So Wolfie can reno fence doesn't 
Uh, Plowso is available, and Plowso is worth a nice amount of points. Hmm. Sandswall won't plow so though. Wolfie might plow so. I feel like if I plow so, I'm probably risking that Reno fence and then fence gets blocked. But. If that happens, I mean, that would obviously be really bad. Yeah, probably I just need to reno fence here. That's the safe play. Yep, let's play it safe. <laughs> I apologize to him. And I even gave him his free stables this round. I don't see how he can be upset. Okay. So one of the great things about Capitalist, what I really like about the card, is that it's not just an all or nothing like it's not like if you can't get four stable fence stables it's worth nothing it's if you can get even two fence stables that's giving you an advantage over someone who has none or getting to three closes the gap against someone who has four like it's not an all or nothing proposition which i think it makes the card a lot more interactive which i like for reno fence you need to be able to reno right yes that's correct yeah you have to be able to because it's after reno also fencing so you have to be able to, to do that part. Sandswell ends up with a pretty sensible looking farm, but you can see how the plan could have been a lot better. Well, if he's like starting to start fights, how plus six player in last, how did you get plus six <laughs> stone sculptor and color and shade? Like it's pretty easy to look at the board and figure that out. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so we can move this T now because that's not getting taken. Uh, probably so is the correct move here. Very this oh whoops I did not mean to harvest. There should be like that right. Take cattle? Yes, I will definitely take one cattle if it comes back. But Wolfie takes it. Um, plowing is one point. What else? I don't have too many points here. I could take stone and build the clay oven, but that's, all, that's too many moves. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much out of points here. So take a uh, plow and take vegetable. seems like that's all that's left. And plow is actually untakeable by anyone else. So I'll take the vegetable first. So 
So three points from Trinket Collector. And then four points from Capitalist. And I don't think there are any other global bonuses available. So it's a pretty good game. I needed an extra two wood or four wood. An extra four wood would have been quite good. Of course, not getting the cattle is a little painful, but I have good points otherwise. I have like really good crop score, crop and fields. I have four, four fence stables, which is obviously big points. My capitalist is worth four points. Cattle is worth more than sow or the same amount. Well, sowing got me at least two points, right? Because sowing took me from five grain to eight grain. So that's, uh, or no, it took me from four grain to eight grain. So that's two points. The vegetable is one point. So yeah, sowing is a three point move. So sowing was more points than cattle. Yeah, stay healthy, Sansol. Ruska plays Brushmaker. So that means he's probably going to end up eating three boar here. And then it's point neutral. Or it looks like he eats two boar, sure. Wolfie plays Minor Wildlife Reserve. And then I go on my plow for one point. Feed 10. So I have whatever I score plus seven, it looks like. Maruska hit 56, Ooh, big points Maruska. That might have me beat. Nope, I beat Maruska by one. Wow. Wow, I beat Maruska by one. Wow. Fifty-seven, fifty-six, thirty-seven, and Wolfie scores forty-four. Tight one, really tight game between me and Maruska. <laughs> Maruska had very nice points. Yeah, Ox team was really good. Swan like I can't believe I passed him those miners. That's painful. And then obviously he has the well. He just has a very solid farm. He has the same crop points. The fact that he didn't get anything out of uh, Capitalist is huge for me. Three point ruin was really nice. Um, I didn't really eat very many animals, did I, Landro? I ate one boar, maybe? So if I ate one boar, that's not any points. Um, Eat at least two boar and three sheep. Did I? My first sheep I used to pay for baby sling. My second sheep I used to pay for hammock. I'm okay. I did eat a boar. I think I ate one boar, and then I didn't breed boar in round thirteen. I ate a boar in the round. 11 harvest, and then I didn't breed boar in round 13 harvest. Yeah. So, yeah, if I could fence a little earlier, great. But the problem was everybody was prioritizing wood so highly. I was always going to get... Um, I was always going to get pretty similar numbers of... Number of wood. Like, I could have given up on maybe one plow... And then gotten an extra two wood for two points. But the plow is the plow is points with my sow action as well. Like the plow is probably two points at least. Yep, 
Yeah. So it was pretty close, I think. Uh, the fact that I didn't get gold medal out in time was a problem. I should have got gold medal out in time. If I have gold medal, then I, th that's an extra three points for me. Uh, because it's trinket collector plus two points. So yeah, getting gold medal out would have been pretty good. Could have fenced four at some point. Um, maybe. The thing is, people were starting to plow like or fence like pretty aggressively. And I kind of wanted to transition into the other aspects of my game. Like, I feel like fencing four is probably comparable to me taking stone and building the stone oven. Like, there's not too much of a difference there. Because, yeah, I could have maybe built the stone oven at the end. Or in round 13. Instead of taking, like, one, vet, one grain or whatever. So. Yep. I could have whistled more. I certainly could have whistled more. I'm feeling pretty good. So the, there was a question around. I could have paid a reed instead of a sheep for baby sling. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about that move because it did give me the option to reno fence on the fireplace. And with a big house, I definitely wanted to get to stone not too late. Um, actually, being able to reno fence round 14 was pretty important because that was one of many very important fence actions that people were taking pretty quickly. Set my feed engine a little late. Um, I mean, maybe. I could have double grown in round 10 and then farm overseer trailblazer comes a little later. Yeah, plow getting four food was really good. Especially when I was plowing without using an action from trailblazer. It did come out a little late. But, uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot I have a grain here. <laughs> I totally forgot about the grain cart grain. Oh, man, so I should not have taken grain in round 13. I should definitely have taken vegetable. And then vegetable is, taking vegetable is not a point in the, at the end of the game. Oh, that's, that's, that's kind of silly of me. I totally forgot about that grain. Oh well, so maybe taking one wood would have been better. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, this is a pretty... It was a good game. I mean, my occupations are extremely strong. Yeah, this farm overseer seems really good. Anything with something that helps you plow one at a time, it's re that seems really good. And then, of course, capitalist giving me four wood and helping me get those four stables. And barrel maker. Barrel maker is so good. Actually, let's take a, take a look at the stats because I'm not sure what the stats will say about barrel maker. Three four one eight nine zero. Barrel maker just seems amazing. Power three point three. Wow. Behind landscape gardener. Well, it's close with landscape gardener. Very close. Champion breeder. It's behind by quite a bit. Huh. Zealous Farmer, power 2.5. Hmm. Okay, GG, Muska. Um, huh. I would have expected this to be higher. This card looks just amazing to me. I guess not every game is as wood tight as that one was. And I did get some really good wood actions early. Like, I got some really good four wood actions. And capitalist it makes a lot of sense. This is really good. Barrel maker was huge in a tight wood game. Yes. So I took visiting quarryman here. It looks like its stats are fairly close to dusk worker. I think dusk worker is really good. Dusk worker is really good. I really like visiting quarryman though. I think that card is awesome. Trinket collector. I took over a gardening enthusiast. Um, it's drafted a little earlier, so they're very comparable cards. Looks like by the stats. 
Farm Overseer ahead of Zealous Farmer. Yeah, Farm Overseer is drafted a pick later. So it looks like Zealous Farmer is pretty good. But uh, Farm Re Overseer after taking Capitalist, that was, that was pretty nice. These picks didn't really matter. And then Trailblazer. Getting Trailblazer back was awesome. I was looking at this fourth, at this third pack and saying, there are five cards I want to take here. Quarryman, Duskworker, Trailblazer, Building Planner, Zipper Maker. So I knew I was going to get something good back. Railmaker gave me five wood, ten food. Yep. Yep, because it activated in five out of the six harvests. Um, so here I took Baby Sling ahead of Swan Lake. Baby Sling's drafted a position later. It's power quite a bit lower. Yeah, Swan Lake is obviously a fantastic card. I think Baby Sling is really good as well. I don't know if that was that was maybe not the right move. It worked out pretty well in this game, but maybe it was not the right move. And I think I probably value Whistle a little highly. Looks like there's some better cards in here. Mountain Cave, Rock Pyramid, Simple Fireplace. Thing is, I don't want Rock Pyramid. I don't want Simple Fireplace. I don't want Straw Thatched Hut. Whistle just did exactly what I wanted it to this game. Then I took last drafted gold medal. <laughs> uh, I probably should have taken Ox Team here. Probably should have taken Ox Team. Yeah, because that Ox Team is so good. But I just thought gold medal with Capitalist and tr Trinket Maker, I just thought that was going to be so good. Yeah, the whistle was the whistle was amazing with um, with baby sling, and it was amazing with um, hammock. Yeah, that was a really that was a really nice interaction. Dictionary power zero. It's got to be better than that, but looks like it's a little overvalued right now. Set card. Yeah, I actually forgot about the grain from set card at the end. So it was two wood for a point, which was a bad conversion in this game because two wood would have been another two points. Underground shed here. Yeah, I didn't really want anything out of this pack. That This is the pack I took Whistle out of. There was not really anything I wanted, so. I had a kind of pretty specific game plan in mind already, and uh, it did manage to come together, so that's good. Um, yeah. Guys, that's going to be all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, I will probably not stream tomorrow, but I've got another game from the weekend that I can put up. Um, I played Sidecart really late. Yeah, I did. I did. The thing is, Sidecart is like, I was looking at it as if it was two wood for two point. Two points. Because it's one point trinket collector plus one extra grain to sow, which is a point. So that's uh, that's the way I was looking at it. It's two, maybe sometimes three point card. I wasn't necessarily, I didn't need to, like I had so many actions. That's the thing. With hammock and baby sling, I knew I was going to have so many actions. I just needed cards to facilitate getting that many actions. Because when you have that many actions, you can take one grain a couple times. It's not as big a deal. So... Or so a couple extra times more than you would normally. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I won't stream tomorrow probably, but I will plan to stream on Saturday, do another couple games. Um, probably try to do four games this weekend again. Uh, the site's been really active, so. Um, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Bye.